Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the war within beta and we're playing Holy Paladin with the Lightsmith Hero Talents built after all the changes. It feels amazing. The first thing to mention here is that some talents are completely gone, starting with Glimmer of Light. Now, I must say, I don't miss that at all. Playing without it actually felt pretty damn good. Now, that also means that all other talents related to Glimmer of Light are gone, including Daybreak. And although it was a good button, that's basically one less button to press and one thing less to carry and worry about. At the same time, we're getting some new goodies and talents on the places of the old ones. For example, your Word of Glory and Light of Dawn now have increased critical strike chance based on your target's missing health. Your judgment now heals you, and if you overheal, that's transferred to allies nearby. And the damage reduction effect that was bind to the Glimmer of Light is now embedded into your Beacon of Light. So those changes alone make the class feel much better already, but then we get the hero talents. The main idea behind Lightsmith is that you get a new skill and don't worry about the tooltip here, I'm gonna summarize it for you. The first time you cast the skill, you throw a shield to an ally which absorbs 50% of your maximum health instantly and then 2% every 2 seconds for 20 seconds more, which is 10 additional percent. The second time you press the skill, you throw a weapon to an ally which starts to deal extra damage or healing based on the abilities that they're casting and the value is increased if they're hitting just a single target. The best part is, those abilities are duplicated on yourself when you cast them on an ally, so you basically get double the value. The abilities themselves are overpowered, the shield makes you even tankier than before and you get to save an ally which could as well be your tank. And at the same time, the weapons contribute a good amount to your overall healing, anything between 5 and 10%, while the damage… well, the damage is broken right now on the beta. For some reason it's doing insane amounts of damage, you're out DPSing tanks and even DPS sometimes easily, and that's obviously going to get fixed. But damage aside, the healing from the weapons is passive and it's not a small cooldown that you can feel once you press it, it's more of an overall contribution, pretty much like Tears Deliverance, which is there for you throughout the dungeon, and the uptime is actually quite good because on top of you casting the skills, you can actually get free procs every now and then by just using spells and abilities, which could be the shield, could be the weapon, but then you're guaranteed to get a weapon once you proc your wings throughout the capstone talent, which not only gives the weapon to your target, but it also echoes the holy power abilities that you're casting to them. It's also worth mentioning that you have two charges, and while you want to cast the weapon on cooldown, you can stagger casting the shield a little bit because when it's up, the second charge is recharging and you can stall a little bit the defensive cast. Of course, there's more to the hero talents. A pretty interesting one makes your consecration do instant healing and damage based on the holy power abilities that you spent before, and this one is stacking. Now, my first thought was, can I stack this to the infinity? Well, the tooltip doesn't say it, but it's limited to 5 stacks maximum. Still, that's a quite fun one. It didn't do a lot of healing, it was like 2.5% uh, of my overall, but it did significant amount of damage. So I think that's a pretty nice addition to our toolkit. Another interesting one, your critical strikes with judgment spread a little bit of healing around your target, and the amount here is actually not that big, but considering the other talent that I showed you earlier, judgment healing yourself and spreading the overhealing around you, that's basically a small synergy that it's quite welcome. You also get a talent that gives you free infusion of light every time armament fades away from you, and that's actually quite good because every time you consume infusion of light, the cooldown of your armament is decreased by 3 seconds. Now, consuming infusions of light is a bit weird because you get these overpowered holy lights which hit very hard, but you have to just stop and cast them which just feels weird with the playstyle that holy powder has right now. But having those two extra talents as a lightsmith paladin makes this feel a little bit better. 
There's also a choice note with two different weapon imbues. The first one gives you armor and primary stat, while the second one gives you increased stamina and chance to burst a little bit of healing around you. That's an interesting choice because the first one gives you damage mitigation and primary stat, which is both healing and damage, but the second one increases your stamina and the shields that you throw out are based on your stamina, on your maximum health, so picking either of those has some merit behind it. Now, obviously, it's not all good. There is this very weird talent, for example, which just increases your active aura effect by 33% only on targets with your armaments on them. But all things considered, that's a very small fraction, so it's kind of like a useless talent. And then we have completely useless choice node, and as some of you pointed out in the comments below, this is probably good and viable in PvP, but picking any of these two talents in either Raid or Mythic Plus feels like a complete waste. Despite all of this though, my biggest criticism to the Holy Armaments build is actually Blessing of Summer. And yes, that's a choice note, it's not something that you need to pick, but it's optimal to choose that on top of the Merciful Auras in Mythic Plus specifically. And once you do that, it becomes a nightmare because the Holy Armaments is two spells that you need to track, Blessing of Summer is four other spells that you need to track, which one is next, who you're casting it on, do you need to stagger it a little bit so it aligns with cooldowns, it just becomes way too much. I'm definitely not a fan of such a type of a playstyle and spells, so I even ended up picking up Merciful Auras in Mythic Plus, although I know it's suboptimal, but there's things to be considered here. Either Blessing of Summer could be completely removed, I don't think anyone's gonna feel sorry about this, or at least in the Lightsmith Talon build, the Holy Armaments could actually replace Blessing of Summer, so you're actually stuck with only one button that you need to press and alternate between skills. I think something like that is going to make miracles with the playstyle of Lightsmith Paladin and make it much more smoother and easy to flow. And last but not least, we should mention this in raiding environment. I haven't tested it there, but I just don't see how it's going to compete with the other hero talent build, Herald of the Sun. Throwing the shields on your tanks every now and then is going to feel pretty good and it's going to help a lot, but outside of that, the healing from the sacred weapons doesn't seem to be where it needs to be to be competitive in raid, and even if the damage is fixed, nobody cares about damage in the raid environment anyway. The rest of your hero talents also do not contribute that much to your HPS, the extra damage for consecration is nice, but the healing is definitely not where it needs to be for raid, so I think this could be quite viable in Mythic Plus. Of course, it all depends on the tuning of the damage of the sacred weapons, but in raid, you're probably going to lean to the Herald of the Sun. So, my final verdict is that this is definitely fun to play in dungeons, and it's probably going to be the a little bit safer approach to pick there instead of the other hero talents. But I'm also expecting a lot more changes to happen on top of the tuning, which is obviously needed. So we probably will need to revisit that on the beta when we have more concrete numbers. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you can check the Herald of the Sun video which is coming up shortly. I'll see you there, now get out of here.